What's up, Chris? Welcome to episode 7 of How to Make an Undertale Fan Fan. We'll make dialogue portraits in this episode. So yeah, that's pretty much what we will be making in this episode. We'll be making dialogue portraits. Like Susie, as you can see here. Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to go over to the spiders resource again. And so we're going to get all the dialogue sprites. So I'm just going to look up filter in. And... I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until I find Delphine. And then I'm going to look for dialogue sprites. So it turns out for the characters that have dialogue sprites, their faces are actually in their sprite sheet thing. So in order to get the one you want, you just have to click on the character you want. So I'm going to choose Susie. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here. I'm just gonna save him into us. And then save. And then I'm gonna drag this into our game. So I put it in this file right here, and I'm just gonna drag it into sprites folder. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go in our text box folder and create a new group in this called dialog sprites and then just drag this in here and for this we're just gonna call this one suzy um i don't know which emotion thing i'm gonna pick yet let me just zoom into here i'm gonna pick just the default one um, so first I just need to go to image, of course strip image right here, or you can just press control I, and then you have to take whatever it was called, one one, like that I think, yeah, cool. Um, so now I'm just going to move the white box over here. Remember, you can just drag around the white box. And the white box is what it's going to cut out of the sprite. We've done this before, but just in case. And I'm just going to make the frame width and height match that. Cool. Now you can pick any of these you want. You don't even have to use Suzy, but I'm going to. And I'm going to put it right there. And. That looks good, I'm just going to press convert. Uh, I'm going to press yes. And here we have it. Um, cool. Um, so this is just going to be S, Suzy, default. Then I'm actually going to create another sprite. So I'm going to create new sprite. As Suzy, um, angry or something. Oops, I don't know what I did, but cool. I'm press edit image, image, import strip image, and then one one. It's that one, I think. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna zoom back to the bottom and pick the one where she's angry. Which I guess can be this one. Um, cool. I'm gonna make one more. Great sprite. SCZ. Embarrassed. Pretty sure that's how you spell it. No, there's two S's. Like that, I think. Okay, and an image. Image. Import strip image. One, one, one. I think it's this one. Convert. Oh, wait, no. Image. The strip image. I did that wrong. I'm supposed to resize it. I'm going to zoom down here. Uh, do one where she looks embarrassed, which this is good. Cool. Um. This one's good. Okay. We have three emotions. Or three 
That works right. And now we can actually start doing the code. What I'm gonna do first actually is go to the sounds resource, which I'll put in the description. And I'm just gonna look at that doing again. We did font sounds and the dialogue sounds on the previous video. So if you haven't done that yet, you can just do it. And actually I forgot we had a whole folder. So I'm gonna go look for that folder really quick. So just go back to that folder you had where all the Deltarune sound effects were from the last video. And we're just gonna go to Deltarune Audio, the internal sounds that way, chapter one variants. I'm gonna look for the Susie one, which we'll then it's loading. I'm just gonna keep scrolling until it, there's S and D, TXT, um, Susie. Here it is. And I'm just gonna drag this into Gimmicker. Um, where it says sounds. And then I'm gonna go S and D, Susie text. This sounds good. Now I'm gonna go over to our O text box, and now it's time for coding. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put speaker sprite O circle, I mean not O equals noon or no one. This is basically what our speaker sprite is gonna be. So like what the dialogue sprite for like who's talking. I mean, okay, now I'm gonna go to the draw event. And then here, we are going to... Okay, so I'm just gonna make a new comment here. No character portrait. And... Character portrait. Um, here, I'm just gonna put text underscore x offset p equals 70 Eight. So this is just a way. Um, then and so this basically is just where the text dot x off it is, like we have it here. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit farther because it's going to be. The picture's gonna be there. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Okay, so the picture's gonna be there, so it needs to go a little further. I'm just gonna put portrait x offset. This is a different, this is a new variable. That's gonna be for our portrait, how far it is from the left side of the screen. Which I think I'm just gonna put, yeah, 42 seems okay. Make sure you're in these dialogue sprites, by the way, that you set the origin point to middle center. Which you can do right here. So just set it to middle center and do it for all of them. Middle center, middle center. And then, so go over to a text box, put your x offset, and then here we can put line width equals text box width. Minus border times two minus text x offset p. So basically, this is just setting the line width, which, if you remember, is where is how far the line is able to go before going to the next line, which is actually set right here. So I'm gonna select this and copy it and put it over here with this. And we're gonna create a new if statement. We're gonna put if speaker spray zero equals equals none, then just cut this and put that here. Um, so basically this will only happen if we have no speaker spray. Um, so it's like the normal description of things or something. Um, so yeah. Text X. Oh, I spelled this wrong. I think. Yeah. Um, 
this is the new variable, so it makes sense. Okay, anyways, so now we're gonna put draw the speaker. So this is where we're gonna draw the portrait. So if speaker spray is equal to zero, not equal to none. I mean, <laughs> if speaker sprite zero is not equal to nothing. So if there is a speaker sprite, I'm gonna put sprite index equals speaker sprite page. So it's gonna set the speaker sprite, well it's gonna set the sprite of the dialogue to the Speaker Sprite. Not like the actual dialogue box sprite, except the sprite of O text box, pretty much. Um, it'll make sense, I think. And we're gonna put if draw car equal to text length page, and then uh, image index is equal to zero. So basically, most if statements are on separate lines like this. Except you don't have to do that. You can just put it on one line. You just need to put a semicolon. Actually, you don't need to put a semicolon at the end here. But it's still more proper. Um, okay, that looks good. Um, now we're just going to put far underscore speaker x is equal to text box x plus portrait x offset page semicolon. I'll explain in a second. Draw. So actually, let me explain that. So basically, this is checking if we're still typing, and if so, I mean, this is checking if we're done typing, and if so, stop animating. So it would be like it animates like they're talking, but once they're done talking, stop animating. You can see it in some parts of Undertale and most parts of Deltoon, where they just, their sprite animates like they're talking until it finishes typing out and then they stop talking, pretty much. Okay, so here we have our underscore speaker x, which basically, this is just finding where the x of the speaker should go, the x coordinate, the speaker sprite. I'm just gonna draw the sprite now. So draw sprite ext, um, sprite index image index underscore speaker x text box y plus text box height divided by two. And for the x scale, we're just gonna put. We may have to change this later because it's not entirely accurate, but we're going to put 80 divided by sprite width and 80 divided by sprite height. And for rotation, we're just going to put zero since it doesn't need to be rotated. Um, color C white alpha one. Okay, so let's see. So this is what the sprite we want to draw is. This is the image index. This is the x coordinate we want the speaker to draw on. So this is the y coordinate we want the speaker to draw on. So basically it's getting how big the text box y is. And then it's dividing, I mean, it's like getting the text box y and it's dividing the height by two since we want the coordinate halfway in the through the text box. So like right here would be what it gets. Um, this is why you need to make sure your sprites are all centered to the middle, middle center right here. Make sure they all say that. Um, okay, let's go back to O text box. O, I mean, O text box. Yeah. Um, and then that looks good for right here. What we want to do then is we want to not have this. You just delete that. And maybe increase the text box x a little bit. Or is the text box x declared here? Okay. I'm just gonna put plus ten or something. Um actually plus eight seems better. Cool. 
And let's see how this works. It's going to go over here. Okay, so this, it's not perfectly centered. I'm going to fix this really quick. Play four. Does that look good? Um, yeah, that looks better. I said, I think I'm just going to set this to 20, 20. That looks better. Okay. Anyways, um, now what we need to do is we need to go over to O text box opener and here we need to go to the step event. No, we need to go to the great event site, create event. And here we're going to put speaker spray. O equals none. So basically it's creating a new array. If you remember, we did the same thing with the text pretty much. Um, so we could open the oh, text box object with our text. So I'm just gonna go over, I'm just gonna go over to the step event in here. I'm just gonna put instantiated dot speaker spray equals speaker spray. Um, cool. Now all we need to do is we need to go over to the rooms and then our Chris room. And I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna have right here for pretty much no reason, just have the sprite we want. So I'm gonna put it right by the window. You can put it wherever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna double click it, hit creation code. Yeah, I'm gonna put what? Ah, there. I'm gonna put a few spaces here actually. There. Um, I'm gonna put another one of these so we can make sure multiple, right? This work. And this one's gonna check out, this one's gonna test the sad. I mean, the embarrassed animation. So I'm just gonna put, I'm embarrassed. Uh, Okay, this is going to be one, and text two equals, I'm um, okay, I'll... I don't know why, but yeah, anyways, okay, so speaker spray <laughs> zero equals S, C, Z, um, default, speaker spray um, one is going to be S Susie embarrassed and speaker is right. Two is equal to S Susie angry. So basically for every single text that you put in here that you want a speaker for. So if you want a speaker for one part, you need speakers for the whole entire thing. So basically, um, this SCZ default would be for this since they're both at zero and one would be embarrassed for this and Susie angry would be angry for this. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm just going to run this and let's see what happens. I'm just going to walk over here to the room. I'm actually going to save over here first and go to this. Okay, it doesn't show up. But if you see in the background, you can see like a little bit of the black showing up. So that must mean it's working somewhat. Um, I'm going to go back here and go to the create. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to go over to the O tags box object. And I'm going to go over to here. So what's happening is that it's drawing the back of the text box after this. So this is shown below the text box. So what we need to do, we just need to highlight this. I'm going to right click and cut it, go over here and paste it over here. Cool. So basically now this is drawing first. So when we draw this, this will draw over it. Uh, cool. So I'm just going to press play. Let's see what happens. Continue. 
Cool, that works, except the problem is it's way too big. So I'm just gonna go over to here and I'm gonna change the sprite width and height, which is gonna be, so these are the numbers you wanna change, not this width and height of the actual thing. So I'm just gonna press 80. I'm gonna put 80 for, hmm, I'm gonna put 73 for both of these. So you just need to keep changing the values until they look good for you. Uh, oops, and you click on this, continue, see how that looks. That's oh, way too big still. I'm gonna set this to be 65. Still a bit too big. 555. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, except oh, uh, it, it looks a bit too squished. So I think what the problem with this is, is that this is not actually a square, so it's being stretched to a square format. So what we need to do to fix this, so hold on, let me close this. For every single dialogue sprite that we have, so like these three, this is not a dialogue sprite, by the way, I'm not talking about this. We just need to um, resize these. So I'm just going to go right here to resize, I'm going to go to resize canvas, and the I'm just going to go to where with the most amount of pixels are. So if this was 50 and this was 45, I would set um, this to 50 so that they were both 50. You just need them both to have the same size, except to make it bigger than the other. I mean, make it the same size as the biggest. So for example, I wouldn't set this to this. I would set this to this because this is 45 and this is 50. So I'd set 45 to 50, not 50 to 45 because 45 is smaller than 50. Okay, so I'm going to set both of these to 50. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is off also. I'm going to press apply. You can see there's these like white borders. I'm just going to, you don't need to do this actually, but I'm just going to fill them in for, with black. Um, and I'm going to go do the same for all of these. So I'm just going to go to resize canvas, set this to 50. Go to edit, fill these with black, save, various, wait now, default, go to resize, resize canvas, 50, cool, I'm going to edit image, fill this in with black, and let's just run the game, that sounds good, that looks good, um, just make sure you do that to all your dialogue sprites, and press continue, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, the one complaint I have is that I feel like the... Actually, no. It looks good. I think it looks good. Um, so now I just need to change the sound. It makes it needs to sound like Susie. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to O text box opening. We're going to go to the create event. And we're going to set I'm going to set the TXTB sound to, um, I'm just going to set this to S default, S, I mean S default, I mean S and D <laughs> default text. Okay, cool. And then here, I'm going to put instantiated TXTB sound equals TXTB sound. Cool. Now in the rooms, we go to our cushion, and then here we're gonna put um, txtb sound to snd suzy text. So if you don't, so for some of these text box where you just want the default sound to play, like this one, for example. Um, you wouldn't put any, you wouldn't put this at all. You just leave it. Because um, then it would default be SND default text. But for this, I'm just going to put this because I want it to be something besides the default text. I want it to be the Susie text noise. I'm going to press play. And let's see how it sounds. That was loud, but does work. 
And so, yeah, I think it sounds good. I'm just gonna lower volume. And that sounds good. It's still really loud, but I think that sounds good. Anyways, yeah. So for the rooms that you want to have characters in, you can just go over to rooms, our cursor, and right here there is create a new asset layer. And we're gonna put this here. We're gonna call this um, NPCs. And we're gonna put this right below the player. And so you can just place your NPC sprites here. You can draw your own, or you can use one from the spider's resource. So I'm gonna create a new sprite. I call this S Susie. Um, I'm actually gonna put S Susie down because she's gonna face down. Right. Um, I'm gonna put an image, image, and then import strip image. One one. I'm gonna get. The one, I'm going to put the one that I got from the spider's resource and then I'm just going to put the white box on the one I want which is going to be this and that looks pretty good cool I'm going to press convert yes and then I'm going to get the magic wand tool I'm going to delete all the pink it's like what we did for the first episode I'm going to press control s save and then I'm gonna go over to the room our Chris room and then I'm gonna put SCC down here and then for collisions I'm gonna put a new collision here oops I'm gonna go over to let me save okay I'm gonna go over to objects a wall and make it so you can't collide with her and then put that there and then for text boxes I'm gonna put a text box opening right here so it opens the text box um, that cool and then here I'm gonna open the one that had my old I mean hold on my old code Go over, eat. this is all optional by the way this is just so the character can talk and I'm gonna put this all here and it's gonna say like hello yes what's up <laughs> I know the character would never really say that, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna put text here. Make sure you subscribe. Cool. Um, for speaker straight two. Um, So, um, the sprites you use can be animated, by the way. They should work. I'm actually going to test this really quick by going and edit image. You don't have to do this, by the way. I'm just going to demonstrate. And I'm just going to put something like that. That changes. Like that. Okay. Um, now I'm going to... Cool. Now I just know if it's animating or not. Um, I'm gonna set this to eight. That's a good FPS, I think, for if you want them to talk. Or maybe twelve would be better actually. Yeah, twelve's good. Um, and so now you just need to use that as your sprite in the a text box opening. It's the same as you would with not animating sprites. Um, it's pretty easy. So I'm just gonna set that to as you follow angry then you'll be able to see that it does animate so I'm gonna run the game and then there's Susie and I'm gonna go talk to Susie and then hello Chris what's up and see it animates 
and mm -hmm. animates when um let me turn down the volume so you can still hear me. Um it only animates while it's talking. Cool. So that's it. Anyways, like the video and subscribe and have a good day.